celebrated from the voice at the ongoing BK soccer showpiece in Africa. Welcome to Talk to Me right here yes, on yes, the Opera News app. This is AFCON 2019 Talk to Me. My name is Kingsley Afan, and on the show today, we want to talk about the semi final game between Nigeria and Algeria. Of course, that's what is buzzing. I've got Femi and Shiro right here. The last time these guys were here, like they almost had to just tear off my clothes. I hope today that they are here with all of the ammunition. And we'll be looking at the star players for the Algerian national team. Riyad Mahrez and also Unas of Napoli playing on the right side of their attack. How would we, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, contain with that? Because we saw Gennady Raw play Chamilu Collins in the last game against South Africa after deploying Olaino so all through the tournament. Let me start with Chiu. Chiu, the left side of our defense would need someone there to marshal the attacking threat of Riyad Mahrez and also Unas. Who do you think that will go for? Definitely Olaino has to come. Oh, okay. Well, I know has to come back because uh, I believe that, of course, he is a right footed player. Yeah. And many people believe he's not very suited to, the, to, the, to that position. But if you look at it tactically yeah. and the movements of the two uh, most dangerous players in uh, Algeria, yeah. Unas and Riyad Mahrez, Riyad Mahrez, these are not your quintessential or natural, uh, typical wingers that just run yeah. on the line and cross, yeah. can cross the ball. They love to cross, they, they love to cut in. Yeah. And if you have a right footed player playing on the left, by the time they're cutting, they're cutting into his strong foot, mm. he is going to mark better. Yeah. He's going to mark better. But of course, I, also, whenever he's going forward, whenever a lot is moving forward, he is not your, also your quintessential uh, fullback that we just crossed the ball. He will also have to the attack. Nigeria generally don't like crossing. What we do is we build, yeah. we tap the ball and everything. He will also cut in and also help with the one-two play and the positional play in front of the IT yard box. So definitely it gives us more defensively and it gives us more going forward. So Olaino has to come back. Olaino has to come back. That's from Shehu. Femi, any day, any time, Femi always disagrees with Shehu. So I'm very, very sure Femi is here again to disagree with Shehu. Yeah, from time in memory, we've always had issues with the left back. Yeah, the time of Papayaro at some point, Gizé came in. In fact, at some point, um, Coach Kony Bide had to use both of them because he wasn't sure of who to use or who was better yeah. between Udeze and Papayaro. Now, fast forward to 2019, we still have issues with that position. Yeah. Eche Dile marshaled that position for years, but he didn't produce any tangible yeah. Yes, he was, he was shaky. shaky. He didn't produce any tangible result. Now, Coach Genetro discovers Jamilu Collins. Collins. Jamilu Collins played his first game and he impressed everybody. True. Not just Nigerians, he impressed football fans outside the country. Yeah. Not, he's, he's so good on that position that he dashes forward, he crosses the ball, yeah. he, 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 solid he, he gives us. He's so solid that for the very first time in a very long while, I can beat my chest and say, hey, we finally found the man who can play the left back position very, very, very well. You're talking about online, you know, online, you know, a man that doesn't even know whether he's a right full back or a left full back or a central defender. He's so confused, he goes forward, he doesn't know when to pass, he doesn't know when to, to, to attack. That this and not see, look at that game he played. Ola I know was one of the culprits in that match. That's and looks like against against Cameroon. We consider two goals. You know, go, using Ola not me. Why he is being used out of position? So now, on the basis of this, now. I recommend Damino Collins. Why he has not played before now is because he's been injured. Now Damino Collins is fit. A dead Damino Collins is better. Than Ola, you know, anytime, any day. A dead Jamilu Collins is better than a fit Ola I know. Now, on fitness, you that's where I'll come back to you. Because we know that Jamilu Collins has been injured all through this tournament and they brought him back against South Africa. Now, do you think he's strong enough, according to Femi, to play two games back to back in the space of three or four or four days? Don't you think that's where yeah. the Algerians will be able to, to exploit that, that part of our defense. Can uh, Femi is one of those people that watch football with emotion okay. and not reason and tactics. <laughs> because if you look at the match against South Africa, you said Jamil Yukon is played very well. I am not disputing you. But if you look at the first half, the most dangerous footballer in Jeremy, South Africa, Percy Tau. Forget first half. Percy we Tau was be playing from the we left. We cannot be putting two yeah. back from the left. in round holes. He was playing from the left. Jamil Collins is a left full back. He cannot be risking Ola Aino. He came in the 19th. He's a big 
guy. He was so he bad that guy. they had to remove Musa Adam and Musa with... and bring in Victor and Musa That's Simon not... to come and assist him on that place. That's not that means you call him against the first time. Oh, against Cameroon. He is the first time. He was 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 the first time. We are in the competition. We are in the competition to win the first time. Fantastic day ahead.